Hello everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing well. Today we have some really exciting news. We have Nintendo's giant summer direct, a few big games that are rumored and expected to be there, and more past Nintendo consoles coming to Nintendo Switch online service. Starting off, where do these rumors come from? Well, it seems to be more of an educated guess than anything, as Nintendo has always had at least one Nintendo Direct in June, sometimes multiple. Some of this comes from Samus Hunter, and some of it comes from other well-known leakers. 2021 had two Nintendo Directs for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC on June 28th, and a normal Nintendo Switch Direct on June 15th. While 2020 was the year everything was affected by the virus, Nintendo ended up having their big summer direct on March 26th, and still filled June with three of its own directs. A giant Pokemon direct on June 17th, Super Smash Bros. DLC on June 22nd, and Pokemon Unite on June 24th. 2019 had a Pokemon Sword and Shield direct on June 5th, and Nintendo's big E3 direct on June 11th. Going back almost every single year, Nintendo has had their biggest Direct of the year in June. Sometimes they even have multiple Directs, usually consisting of their big main Direct, then Pokemon, Super Smash Bros., various indie developers, or other projects that are of a major focus for them. Let's not forget the long rumored 2D or 3D Donkey Kong game. And of course, the Metroid Prime Trilogy remaster or the complete remake of the first Metroid Prime game. Either of which I think would be very likely. And I wanna know, do you think we would see anything from Metroid Prime 4? We also have the Summer Games Fest coming up as well, which I'm sure Nintendo will save at least one or two surprises for. The most interesting game rumored to appear for me is Super Mario Galaxy. Many will remember it releasing as part of the limited edition Super Mario 3D All-Stars. This is an interesting choice. Will it actually be a standalone game? And if it is, will it be a full $60? Could this release finally lead to Super Mario Galaxy 2? Let me know what you all think. What many people want is the rumored Game Boy Advanced and GameCube emulator being added to the Switch Online service. We've seen leaks a while back for games like Minish Cap getting resubmitted for trademarks, and even what many believed was an official Game Boy Advance emulator for the Nintendo Switch. So could the other half of this rumor be true as well? If so, which GameCube games would you like to see? While it is currently possible to hack and run your own GameCube and Wii games on the Switch, it does have the occasional slowdown, as does Nintendo's own emulation of Super Mario Sunshine, which took more optimizing than I think Nintendo would feel good about putting online for free as part of their online service. Though we did get the Animal Crossing and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC for free, so maybe it is something Nintendo is willing to do for their more expensive expansion pass. Next, we have the long-rumored Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD ports. We have a video on this that uploaded yesterday, so I won't spend much time on it. We will also be discussing this and everything else we talked about on this video during our podcast, the Hylian Gamescast, on Thursday. So look forward to that if you have any of your own questions or want to hear more than just my own thoughts. And you can join in on the discussion as well, as we will be reading off some of your comments and questions that you all leave below. Coming from Game Rant, a Fire Emblem game is rumored to be releasing in October 2022 or early 2023. Well-known leaker Emily Rogers stated, The game is nearly finished with its development, and has been in the works for over three years at Intelligent Systems and a supporting studio. For all of the Fire Emblem fans out there, comment below and let us know what you would like to see from the series. And thank you for watching. We have a few new Patreon supporters that I would like to give a thank you to. If you would like your own shout out, then head over to patreon.com slash gameoverjesse, where you can receive a ton of different rewards while helping us out. Those of you who are just donating a single dollar, that really does help more than you would think. Thank you Monica Spath, Nodnarb, Shadow to Us, SoberRx, Andromoy, Natsu, Rusty Caulfield, Zoe M, Candy, David Guthman, Ashton Wren, BKRS7, Blargnar, Chad Costin, Gus Calvo, Henry, Jesse Birch, Jesse Wood, Jon Snow, Berulian Sheep, Lovable Christie, Mr. Monocled Metroid, SuperNX64, and Zane.